Hi guys, welcome to day one of what I have decided to call the Homemakers Challenge. Um, I was kind of kicking around a couple names and I put polls out on my social medias and as of right now that is winning and I actually think that's pretty appropriate because um, although, so the goal of this challenge is uh, I want to every day in the day of December, I want to focus on one task in my house to improve it in a housekeeping sense so cleaning organizing possibly decorating things like that um and so homemaking to me is a little bit more of a slightly more broad term than housekeeping um i would say homemaking would also cover like cooking and things like that whereas i would say housekeeping is kind of more taking care of the house um, and although that's what I'm going to be focusing on I think it would be cool if anybody who wanted to follow along would you know would follow along and do anything under the purview of homemaking that they um, feel is appropriate for them so for me cooking I'm already a halfway decent cook so <laughs> that's not something I feel the need to challenge myself on necessarily I'm gonna focus on cleaning but I wanted to kind of open it up to that little bit broader of homemaking and of course the main goal of all of this is to create a nicer, cleaner, more enjoyable home environment. So, homemakers challenge. Um, so my plan is I am going to film and post weekly videos with showing what I'm doing each day and I also want to kind of talk a little bit about um, something each day through the challenge. So for this week, I want to talk about things, reasons that I think I struggle with this and that I also think apply that other people struggle with this. So each day I want to talk about one thing and show you what I'm doing. Today, day one, December 1st, um, my task is this corner, my laundry room. So I want to sort out, organize that stuff clean up, wipe down the washer and dryer, um, move these paint cans and things like that, wipe, like, we're obviously done with this window year, unit for the year, um, I probably won't try to take it out myself today, I'll probably wait until Zach gets home and can help me with it, but wipe that down, and we're, you know, dust and cobwebs accumulate around the windowsill, all that kind of stuff, so that's what I'm going to be working on today. And the first reason that I think this is hard for me is a lack of ingrained habits. So what I mean by that is, you know, we all have habits, some better than others. Um, and if, if cleaning or, or whatever isn't something that you're used to doing, isn't normal for you, then it's hard to do. It's hard to do anything you're not just used to doing on a normal basis. Sounds kind of obvious on the surface. So what this kind of comes back to is, you know, what's your background like? Are you used to doing some of these tasks? Do you even know what some of these tasks are? And that might sound a little bit silly, but you know, think about it. And I, if any of my relatives are watching, I don't have a tattoo, this is temporary. <laughs> Maisie had me do it yesterday. Some uh, family member gave her some temporary uh, tattoos as part of a Christmas gift, and she wanted us to both put in butterfly ones. So if you're going to message me and say, hey, I didn't know you had a tattoo, I do not. Anyway, <laughs> um, so habits. There are things that a lot of people aren't used to doing on a regular basis, myself included. Um, and there may even be things that you don't even realize need to be done. And these are the kind of things that, it's the kind of thing that when you know about it, it seems obvious, but when you don't know about it, or if nobody ever taught you, then you don't do it. And, and that might sound crazy to people who that's normal for, but for those of us who isn't, we're like, well, I didn't even know I had to do that. Now, well, like an example, this doesn't even apply to me. I know you have to clean the lint filter, but some people, you know, if, if you weren't taught to do laundry, maybe you don't know you need to clean the lint filter every time out of the dryer. 
Um, maybe you don't know or you aren't used to doing things like dusting. Dusting isn't really a thing I remember ever doing when I was a kid. <laughs> and things were dusty um, because we, the, just the, the situation where we lived, there was a lot of dust created that came into the house because we had the door open in summertime, blah, blah, blah. Things were dusty. I don't ever remember intentionally dusting like we swept, but I mean, I, I'm sure things like that were on the walls were dusty, but I don't remember ever dusting. That was not, we did not own a duster that I'm aware of anyway. <laughs> so... Uh, that might be something that's really normal and an ingrained habit for some people to dust and wipe things down. That's not really something that I was used to doing. It's not something I am used to doing. So, ingrained habits, if you don't have them, and if something isn't just normal second nature to you, you know, that's one reason that you might struggle with things like this, because you just don't know to do them on a regular basis or at all. I think I'm going to call that good for right now. Um, other than I'm still gonna, I have to take that stuff down to the <clears throat> shop, so I'm gonna do that right after this. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a lot better than it was. Still not perfect. Um, clearly, my vinegar wash does not remove crayon. I'll have to come back and get that with a magic eraser. Um, and of course, I can't finish the windows until the air is out. And I will try to see if that can help me when he gets home tonight, get that out and get that done. But yeah, not perfect, but spoiler alert, none of this is going to be perfect. Not about getting perfect, it's about getting better. So anyway, good enough is good enough, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day two of the Homemakers Challenge. Today is going to be a pretty long and busy day for us, and we are going to be gone for most of the day, so I wanted to knock something out quick this morning, so I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. Um, so I am cleaning off the top of my fridge. Pretty quick and easy, just gotta sort and organize this stuff and wipe the top down and then put it back. So, and I also want to talk about the second reason that I think this is so hard for some of us, which is a lack of skills. So yesterday I talked about lack of um, habits, lack of skills kind of goes along with that fairly often. Um, and that could show up in a few different ways, um, ranging from completely not knowing how to do something or in some cases even not knowing that a thing needs to be done at all um, to just maybe not knowing how to do something super well. I don't want to say doing something the right way because most things have, you know, most things there's more than one way to do it. Um, but maybe you don't know the best way or the fastest, most efficient way that gets you the best results. Um, and so that can make it hard to do the thing, of course. And also if the way that you do know to do it or you are doing it doesn't get you results or uh, maybe it's not the fastest way to do it. So you're spending a lot of time and energy doing it and it's still not getting you good results. That can be pretty frustrating. So maybe you just avoid doing the task altogether. <laughs> um, so that could look like a lot of different things because you know this could be all over the place right it could be not knowing how to stain tray laundry um or not knowing how to wash dishes well even or, or even loading a dishwasher if you load it in a way where stuff doesn't get clean and they have to rewash stuff that you know that can be really frustrating so maybe you just 
that becomes a task you avoid because um, it just doesn't work out well and it creates extra work for you, right? So, um, yeah. Lack of habit and lack of skills, if nobody ever taught you to do these things, can be a real uh, roadblock to getting them done fairly often. The good news with both of these things is, you know, you can learn skills, you can uh, practice and get better at doing these things, and you can work on building habits. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. That's kind of the whole point of this challenge of, like, forcing myself to do something every day. Um, yeah, of course, I'm hoping to see results from the things I'm doing, but it's really more about building a habit of making time and focusing on doing the thing doing these types of things daily where maybe I haven't in the past. So anyway, I'm going to finish this up and go on about my day and we'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back for day three of the Homemakers Challenge. Um, we are hoping to put our Christmas tree up tonight. So that means that today's task for me is to get this corner cleaned out. So I'm going to pick up all the loose toys, uh, get them contained and moved, um, which actually isn't hard. I just have to do it. Um, but actually the more challenging thing is going to be to figure out where I'm going to put the rocking chair and the little bookshelf for the next, uh, well, not a full month, but a few weeks. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get started on that. So my plan is to, I don't want to spend a lot of time doing a bunch of sorting and stuff right now. Um, I'm mostly going to try to get everything just boxed up and moved, and I'm going to have to take a day soon to do go through everything to do a pre-Christmas toy purge anyway. So right now I'm just going to try to get everything into some boxes so I can get out of this corner um, and then try to sort it out later. Uh, you know, stuff that she really doesn't use anymore, all that. And while I am doing that, I'm going to try to do it quietly enough that I can also talk about my third reason that I think um, this can be so hard. And that is time. Um, so first of all, just lack of time um, in that, you know, most of us have other stuff going on. Um, I am a stay-at-home mom, so I don't have a full-time job that I go to or anything like that. But, um, you know, I am a mom. I have a toddler to take care of. Um... I try to cook as much as I can and that, you know, I don't usually do a lot of convenience meals. So, you know, I'm usually trying to cook more or less from scratch. Um, that takes time. Don't have a lot of animals, but we do have some. I have to take care of running errands, some other obligations, things like that. So I do have other things that do take up my time. And beyond just having a lack of time, um, I think another issue is time management skills, lack of time management skills, and also lack of time awareness. I'm not really sure how to word that, but I often find that I struggle with um, knowing how much time has elapsed while I'm doing something, especially while I am busy doing something. I often think, um, you know, for example, we will go to a store or something and I'm going to say, hey, I just need to run in here really quickly. Um, you know, Zach will stay in the car with her. And it often happens that I'll go in and I, I think I am being quick. I think I am doing a pretty good job of getting it done quickly and I'll come back out and I'll think, I did great. I was only in for there for like 10 minutes. And he'll be like, no, you were in there for a half an hour. And that blows my mind <laughs> because it did not feel like that to me. Um, so that, and um, I often find that I will 
you know, look at the clock during the day and I will think it'll either be a lot um, earlier or later than I was expecting. Um, and things like I, uh, and I, it's not that I don't try to manage my time. I'm the person that's always late, even when I really, really try hard not to be late. I can, I can plan it out and think, you know, I know how much time it's going to take to get there. I know how much, or I have an idea how much time it'll take to get ready. And I think, I can think I've given myself even a lot of extra time and still be late or still just barely be on time. Um, so I'm not really sure what causes that, but it is definitely something I struggle with. And that can also lead to issues doing tasks because it can be easy. So for example, it, it can also be hard to estimate how much time something is going to take and that can lead to um, difficulties. So I can estimate and think something isn't going to take that long. I think most of us have done this. You think, hey, I've got time today. I'm going to deep clean this room or I'm going to go through my closet. And, <laughs> you know, a few hours later, everything's out. You have a bigger mess than when you started. You're still not done. You have to go do other things. And it, you know, it's just, it can be very frustrating. And the opposite also can be true. Um, we'll see a task and think, hey, I need to do that. But sometimes we think it's going to be a really big, long, involved thing. And so we avoid doing it. And then uh, when we finally get around to it, we find out, hey, that took 10 minutes. I could have done that a long time ago, and I didn't. So, yeah, I think having a lack of time awareness and time management skills and things like that can be a pretty big contributor when it comes to things like this. Um, and I think a lot of us do struggle with those things. So. Anyway, I'm going to try to finish this up so we can get our tree up tonight. for day four. Um, today, uh, the next thing I wanted to do was clean the bathroom, and I did not get all of it done today, but I did get a lot of it done. Um, so I, um, for privacy reasons, I've decided not to actually film in uh, the bedroom or the bathroom. And also, it would have been pretty hard because the bathroom's tiny. Uh, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. But <laughs> what I got done today was um, cleaning the mirror and the vanity. I went through both, uh, medicine cabinets, um, got rid of some old toiletries and stuff like that that we don't use anymore. Um, cleared out the drawers and under the sink, um, vacuumed that all out, strained it up. Um, so I'd say I'm like half done and I'll try to do the rest tomorrow. Um, but one more thing I wanted to do tonight was fold some linens and talk about the fourth thing that I think makes this a little bit more difficult for some of us, and that is having children, specifically small children. I have an almost three-year-old, um, and I don't think I even have to really elaborate for anybody who has kids gets it already but I will just a little bit anyway and to be clear this is not like a blaming thing for one thing I wasn't that great at it before I had a kid so definitely cannot put it all on that but anybody who has kids knows it doesn't make it any easier <laughs> on that um, aspect of things having kids, particularly young children, um, for one thing, they demand a lot of your time, which is not a bad thing. That's, it's a good thing. Love my daughter, love spending time with her. Um, you know, 
I definitely would not rather be cleaning than spend time with her. <laughs> um, so that's part of it is that they just demand a lot of our time when they are that age. And the other part is they are, um, disorganized <laughs> by nature. They, um, at this age they're starting to get to the point where they want to help, or at least sometimes maybe want to help you pick things up, but for the most part they're, they're doing the opposite. They are pulling the toys out right after you put them away again. Um, they're, you know, you're in one room doing something and they're in the other room destroying it. You know, what's that mean that, you know, trying to clean while you have young kids in the house is like trying to brush your teeth while eating Oreos. It's just, um, counterproductive. <laughs> Um, case in point, I was just in there cleaning the bathroom, and I don't know, you know, maybe if it wasn't for that, I could have done the whole thing tonight. It doesn't really matter. I'm not putting myself on a set timeline for this. You know, my only goal is to do something every day. I'm not trying to box myself into doing specific things on specific days or that I have to even do a whole thing. I'm just trying to do a little bit of something. Um, but you know, I was in there trying to clean the bathroom, and... She came in because she wants to be where I am, and, you know, I was trying to, was looking through things that I was putting in the throw away pile, and, oh, what's this, what's that, and, um, wanted to brush her teeth while I was trying to clean the vanity in the sink, and, you know, was standing right where I needed to be and splashing water everywhere, and, you know, in those situations, it just makes it harder to do things makes it a little bit frustrating. I, you know, <laughs> try my best to be patient because, um, obviously she's more important to me than cleaning. Obviously most things are more important to me than cleaning <laughs> or I wouldn't be in this position. <laughs> but anyway, parents of small children, like I said, most of you, you already know, already know what the deal is. So that is the fourth reason that I think a lot of us do struggle with this. And I think that most people, even even people who have a pretty good handle on the housekeeping and the keeping up with the cleaning, I think even those people tend to struggle more during this season of life when we have small children. So anyway, I'm going to finish this up so I can go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi again guys, today is day five of the homemakers challenge for today. I just finished up the bathroom. Um, it was kind of a, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so, you know, today was kind of rough, so that's pretty much all I wanted to do, but I did finish that up, which was cleaning the toilet inside out and uh, cleaning up the floors. So, bathroom's done, and I have another load of linens to fold while we chat for a few minutes about fifth reason that I think I find uh, cleaning in such hard, which is, I honestly don't even know how to sum it up in a word or phrase, but kind of an aversion to things, spaces being cleaned up, me cleaning them up because I know they are going to get messed up again and that's going to frustrate and cause me stress <laughs> more so than if it wasn't clean. So what I mean by that is, um, and, and it can, and it can also kind of cause, um, a little bit of a paralysis for me personally. But what I mean is if I clean something, like if I just got done sweeping and mopping the floor and then my uh, two-year-old comes in and spills something on it, that's going to make me feel a lot more frustrated than I would have if the floor was just still already messy. You know, it's already dirty, no big deal, whatever. And of course it isn't a big deal and I can still clean it up and I do my very best, of course, to be patient and not let that frustration come out, but I still feel it, right? <laughs> it still causes stress inside of me, no matter how much I um, 
can hold that in and not <laughs> project it out onto everybody else. I still feel it. Um, so that's additional stress on me. Um, and the other thing is if something's clean, the, the, if it's clean or new, I don't want to mess it up thing. So I just won't use it. So, you know, sometimes it's a, this is a brand new thing. So I'll just save it and never use it. I'm guilty of that. That's something I'm trying to get better of. But the same thing can kind of apply for when we've just cleaned something, right? Like I just spent a lot of time cleaning the kitchen. Now I kind of don't want to mess it up again. So I don't even want to use the kitchen for what it's for, for cooking food. Um, and that's not a place I want to be in because I want to use my house. Um, that's the whole purpose <laughs> of having a house, right? Um, I'm pretty, um, I'm a, I'm very much a focus on function person. So if I don't feel like I can use the thing that frustrates me. And of course I completely understand this is a mental block and that's something that's worth getting past, but I'm, I still need to acknowledge that it's there. And this is, you know, this does exist in my head, this fear of, um, the frustration that comes from something getting messed up again. So it's almost like, you know, it's that, well, why clean it if it's just going to get messed up again? So it does kind of create a little bit of an aversion to that sometimes. You know, why bother picking up the living room when I know she's just going to come in and get all the toys out again? Um, and I think most of us have been there to some degree at some point. But that is something that can uh, contribute to just avoidance of cleaning tasks. So going to finish cleaning my towels and not avoid doing that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, today is day six of the homemaker's challenge. Decided to shift into the living room today um, and I'm starting with something that I tend to avoid, which is cleaning the slip covers off the couch cushions. Um, tend to avoid it because I don't particularly enjoy wrestling them back on and I also don't like not having the couch. Um, I'm taking these off so I can wash them. Why? Because they need to be washed sometimes. What? Because they get dirty from somebody spilling stuff on them. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, I actually have the two couches, so I try to do just one at a time, so I at least have the other one. Get and then now I'll be probably okay. try to do the other now one. Now we have to put them on again. And yeah, that's right. I take them off and clean them, and then I put them on again. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> see if we can chat while I am removing these. <laughs> so what I wanted to talk about today is something <sighs> that a lot of adults, a lot of people, but a lot of adult, adults um, may be dealing with, may or may not be aware of it even, um, is something that I've just become aware of within the last couple of years as I start to um, learn more about how the brain works and, you know, start to recognize uh, behavior patterns in myself. And anyway, I have begun to realize that it's probably pretty likely that I have some level of ADHD. And um, as I said, that's something that a lot of people are dealing with. A lot of people are not necessarily aware of it, and it's, you know, it's, uh, can be kind of complex, and it can show up in a lot of different ways and areas of your life, but specifically to, um, what we're talking about here, um, <clears throat> it can be pretty common for people dealing with this type of, um, brain um, mechanics, whatever that, that come with this, uh, we can very often struggle with having messy, cluttered houses, lives, um, because, you know, some of the things that come with it are having a hard time focusing, being very easily, um, distracted, um, things like I was talking about, the, the time awareness thing that can go along with it, um, <clears throat> a 
we can uh, get really easily um, bored with things. Uh, you know, that's the starting projects and never finishing it. And, you know, that can go along with cleaning too. Uh, you know, I'm going to start cleaning this thing and then, you know, we just end up moving on to something else. Um, so it can be really easy to become distracted from, procrastinate, avoid things, particularly things that tend to make us feel bored, frustrated, overwhelmed, can be very easily be overwhelmed um, by looking at a task that feels really big. Um, Mommy, I so, want some potato food. You want some potato food? Yeah. Okay, we'll find some. So anyway, I'm going to finish no, no, no. getting these things off, and then I'm going to uh, clean out whatever treasures mm, are yes. under here and vacuum it. Um... Then I might do one more task today too, we'll see. you can see the other thing I did was clearing off our little mantle here and I neglected to film it last night but I did in fact get the slip covers put back on this couch and as you can see it has already returned to its default state of being toddler habitat so and today is day seven uh, final day in our first week I'm pretty happy with how things are going so far, and last day's task is just going to be doing the slip covers on this other couch, um, mostly because I want to be done with this this morning so I can go ahead and get this video ready to go up on Sunday. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get started on that. And going to talk about the last reason that I think I and others may find housekeeping hard, which is priorities. Um, and to be clear, I'm not saying that my or anybody else's priorities are good, bad, right, or wrong. We just have them and they do affect what we spend our time and energy on the most. Um, so personally, this is uh, obviously housekeeping and, and keeping up with cleaning well is not something that I particularly prioritize. Um, over a lot of my other responsibilities particularly and and this does change um, through different seasons and seasons of life um, you know for example the only reason that I'm really able to be doing this challenge right now and I've actually been able to stick with it so far is because it is winter time um, and I'm not trying to garden and do a lot of the other outside tasks that I have to do during the summertime. Um, you know, winter is generally a slower season in a lot of ways and we're spending a lot of time inside, so it makes sense to work on this more now. Um, so there are, you know, priorities among different responsibilities that are gonna shift and sometimes it's gonna take precedent over others. Um, and also even within the individual tasks, like within housekeeping and stuff, um, I am very much a, a practical person, I would say, in that I pretty much in every area of my life that I can think of, I prioritize function over presentation or appearance. Um, so like with food, I very much value nutrition and taste over presentation. Uh, clothing. You may have noticed by now this is not a fashion vlog. I'm not into fashion at all. I don't care. I'm sure, you know, this all came from a thrift store. I don't care. <laughs> um, and 
So, you know, with clothing, I very much value practicality, function, being able to work in it and do what I need, and comfort over, uh, you know, aesthetic and being uh, with trends or whatever. That's not something I care or even know about. Um, now, um, I primarily value nutrition and taste when it comes to food. Does that mean I never like to make food look nice? No. Um, I actually really enjoy uh, cake decorating. I mean, just casually for, um, I like to do Maisie's birthday cakes and I like to make them cute. Um, and does generally valuing uh, function and comfort in clothing mean that I never like to dress up and look nice? No, I do that occasionally. So same with um, housework. Although I do primarily value function and comfort in our home, um, it doesn't mean that I'm never gonna take the time to do the things that I consider to be extra, whether that be, you know, taking the time to clean up more like I am now, decorating, obviously I'm decorating for Christmas. Um, so when we do have the extra time and energy, I, I can still choose to prioritize things that I might not do all the time, but that does have to, you know, usually be a conscious choice to put in the extra effort. So like in the kitchen, as far as functionality, basically, I consider if I have um, if I have the counter next to my sink, that's where I pretty much always will do my prep work for cooking. So if I have that cleared and clean enough that I can do my prep work that I need to do, and I have all of the dishes and utensils clean that I need to do to make sure you know, cook and make sure we have meals as long as I'm keeping the dishes dish cycle going um, and all that, I I consider that functional enough. So on the days that, you know, during the time periods that I don't have a lot of time and extra energy because I am focusing on other things more, that's good enough is good enough for me there. Now, when I do have extra time and energy, you know, that's when I might spend the time to do the things that I kind of consider to be extra, like clearing off my other counters and um, clearing off the table and, you know, things like that. Um, reorganizing things in a better way. So that's just, you know, again, not good or bad. Different seasons of life are gonna demand that we do prioritize some things over others, but it is my responsibility during other seasons, like right now when I do have extra time to be inside, that I do prioritize working on this other stuff that gets, um, you know, neglected at other times. So gonna, finish with this and uh, once I get this done I am going to excuse me um, work on getting this video up and I have some other projects to work on this afternoon but I would like to thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging me out in this first week I'm pretty pleased with how it's going so far really appreciate the support and solidarity that I have uh, received so far. Um, if anybody else is working on this too, wish you the best of luck with however you're trying to do better at this in your life. And I will see you next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.